everybody. Welcome to Excel Video 408. I'm Nate Moore. I talked to two different groups this past week that use EMDs, and we're really struggling to get information out of the canned reports that tied back to bank statements or other reports. They couldn't get the reports they need until they started talking to me. If you've got data in your PM system that you can't get out, I'd love to help you. We're going to play more with ways to execute or make macros run today. Last time, remember, we had something on the ribbon. We had something up in this quick access toolbar, which is great if you're going to do a ton of these and you're always going to have macro spreadsheets going and, and you always need them. If you're going to build one spreadsheet that you're going to give to your billing department manager, or your front desk, or a nurse, or a doctor, or whoever, that they just need a macro to work on that one sheet. We don't want to play with their ribbon. We don't want to add it up here. We, the macro is not going to be available in any other sheet, just this one. I want to show you another way you might attack that problem using the same created by Nate macro we built last time. From the developer tab, what we're going to do is we're going to look at controls here. And if you click this drop down menu, insert, there are some form controls and ActiveX controls. I'm going to play with a form control here. This button form control. There are some others in here that will do check boxes and let you have groups and things that we can cross down the road. That, that bridge is further away. We just want to build a button to make our macro run. So I'm going to click that and let's just build this button up here. As soon as I create the button, the first thing someone wants to know is, okay, uh, what do you want this button to do? And I say, well, I want it to run the created by Nate macro. And let's click OK. And it gives it the very original name button one. So what I can do is I can right click this button and I can edit the text. And let's do sign this spreadsheet. Maybe that's what I want this button to do is when I click this button, I want it to sign the spreadsheet. So I'll do that. And then what I can do is I can right click again and format the control. And there are some controls in here in terms of, we'll come back to font, but alignment and size and um, what happens if you protect the worksheet and some properties and things like that. What I want to do is just, let's just make the, the font red, bump it up a bit. Yeah, that works for me. Maybe we'll make it bold. See if it'll fit. Perfect. So now what I want to do is let's say I want to sign my spreadsheet here in cell I2. So I go where I want to sign, I click the box, and I'm done. Go where I want to sign, click the box, and I'm done. Obviously, we're going to have a little more complicated macros than created by Nate. But the principle is from the developer tab, the insert menu, you pick a button, form control, and you can assign a macro to a button. And now this macro button only applies to the spreadsheet. You can take this one spreadsheet, send it off to whoever else in your organization needs it, and they can run that macro. And again, the macro can be way more complicated than something simple like this. But once you've got the macro written, this is an easy way to make it run. I want to show you one more way to make macros run. We'll do it in the next Excel video. Thanks for watching.